What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here today guys. I'm going to be reviewing the top 10 features in the new iOS 6 beta. So with Apple's new version of iOS 6, basically they've announced over 200 new features just like they did with iOS 5 and today I'm going to be going over my top 10. Now the first one that I'm going to start off with is going to have to be FaceTime over 3G. Now I want to talk about that a bit. Basically now if you're on 3G, let's say on your iPhone or on your iPad, you can now actually do it straight from 3G. So if I go here general and go to cellular usage, I can scroll down. And as you can see, I now have the option to turn FaceTime onto cellular usage. So um, that means that Apple's finally added this feature. So now if I go into phone, I can actually make a FaceTime call while I'm on 4G with AT&T. Pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this feature. My only concern, though, is it's going to take up a lot of data usage, and it's also not going to be the best quality. But it's a long-awaited feature that uh, people have been waiting for, Apple customers have been waiting for. And it has also been a long time jailbreak tweak, and Apple's always trying to catch up with the jailbreak uh, community with their tweaks uh, because the customers uh, always want better tweaks, and uh, that's why I think um, Apple kind of, people always consider it like Apple's copying, um, like they, they always say that Apple's copying the uh, jailbreakers, the jailbreak team basically, but they actually aren't, they're just, you know, trying to meet up with their customers and provide the best tweaks without having to jailbreak your device so it actually makes sense the next feature or updated feature that I want to go over is Siri now Siri itself has changed uh, quite a bit um, so the first main thing with Siri um, is I do want to tell you that not only does it now work with the iPhone 4s but it also works with the new iPad that is the iPad 3 uh, unfortunately not the iPad 2 just the new iPad currently and the iPhone 4s and uh, basically we saw a mock-up of it uh, a bit earlier before iOS 6 beta 1 was actually unleashed and uh, the mock-up was pretty much just correct um, it has the same little diode box the same size as the iPhone screen so it doesn't take up the uh, uh, iPad's whole screen it just kinda sticks out when uh, you do activate Siri but it is now actually integrated in iOS 6 uh, Siri for the iPad 3 but um, Siri has actually been learning a few new things and uh, those three things are going to be movies uh, sports and restaurants. So I'm first going to go over sports and I can ask Siri a question like this. How tall is LeBron? Let's see. Six foot eight. And it'll tell me all of LeBron James facts right here. And uh, so he's six foot eight right there. And uh, so yeah, it'll, Siri will give me all this information, and um, I could just say like LeBron or something, or I could ask how many uh, hit, uh, home runs Derek Jeter's had this year, and uh, so on. Siri has now fully learned all this sports stuff, and it is actually pretty cool. I just don't think people are going to be that crazy about it, but it is a nice feature. Siri's next new feature is going to be with movies. Let's show you that. Are there any AMC theaters close to me? Finding movie theaters nearby. Okay, I found some theaters matching AMC nearby. As you can see, everything here turns red, kind of like a movie display. So I'll go ahead and just hit the Garden State Plaza one right here. And um, so right in Siri, I can check out all the movies that are playing right at my local AMC. So um, let's say I'm going to go see Rock of Ages. Well, here I can actually watch the trailer directly from Apple if I really wanted to. Right through Siri, it'll immediately play. Just like so, so I can fast forward it here, just to give you an idea. So the uh, the trailer will actually play. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it'll actually give me a description of the whole movie. I can read about it, and then it tells you reviews of the movie, all while you're still operating in Siri. It's actually pretty cool. So that's movies in Siri. Last but not least is restaurants. So with Siri, I could just be like, I want to eat. I found 15 restaurants fairly close to you. And you'll see the restaurant lookup interface has changed a bit. So let's say I want to choose Buffalo's Chicken uh, uh, Shack. Basically, I can look here at the location, the phone number, everything else I'd need to know about it. And they'll even give me pictures as well. And I could just see inside of the restaurant. 
Um, and yeah, and again, right all inside of Siri. Apple added this really cool feature. It's basically called Do Not Disturb, and uh, it's at the top of settings now. And once you turn it on, basically what happens is you could set times if you want, or you could just use it as a toggle. What happens is basically you will not be disturbed. So even if you put your phone on silent or you turn the volume all the way down, you will not get the notification. Like, you won't feel... You won't feel like the phone won't vibrate if you have it on vibrate or you won't hear settings so let's say you're in a meeting or something and you just can't have any sounds at all including like a vibration. That's what do not disturb does. If you want to sleep well you can set like timers and stuff and so on. So do not disturb. Once I turn it on you'll see a little moon. I don't know how well you can see but you'll see a little moon appears right next to the clock on my phone and that will indicate that do not disturb is on. So let's say someone sends a text message. Well, I won't receive it at all, but if I look at my lock screen, it will show up. When I say receive, I mean it won't give me a notification at all, but it will actually be there and I could go check my messages and it will appear. Apple also added a feature called VIP Mail, which basically if I go back here, you see I have VIP. What I can do here is I can add uh, VIP email addresses. So if I just want to read specific emails, like from full screen, tiny galaxy, YouTube, and so on, or just review requests and stuff, I can add their emails and only see those at once. I don't have to see all that Amazon junk and all the other eBay stuff that I don't really want to see. The next feature is Facebook integration. Now just like Twitter, Facebook has also been integrated into the iOS and the first really cool thing that I want to show you is now with Notification Center, when I slide down you'll see that I can tap to tweet with Twitter or I can tap to post with Facebook. So Facebook and Twitter are integrated into the Notification Center, but just all in general, Facebook is integrated into the iOS and as you can see, it, Twitter and Facebook are available tabs right here. I'll go to my Facebook. As you can see, it's all uh, synced up here. Basically, you just install the app, load up your account, and from there, you can post pictures. You know what you could regularly do with Twitter, just send posts, post pictures, uh, news feeds and stuff, check out whatever you want. And it's all inside of the iOS, so you could send it directly from there without opening the Facebook app. Pretty cool. And I'll go ahead and just show you a demo right here. I will just go to this picture of a bunch of iPad cases. And then right here, you can see that uh, all the options for the uh, where you want to share it to has changed a bit. Click Facebook. Attaching the picture, I can go ahead and type whatever I want and post it to Facebook. Maps has changed a little bit, and you can first see by the new icon. Apple's officially ditched working with Google on uh, actually using their map service, and they went to TomTom Tom USA, which uh, is actually a very popular application for the iPhone. And let me tell you, I like this maps interface much more. As you can see, I can turn around a lot, and it makes it a much uh, more friendly UI, and I can also track my location, but I won't do that. And I can turn around and kind of move and zoom in, zoom out, go on an angle, go on an axis, and it actually looks pretty cool. And then, you know, I could also do satellite hybrid, uh, map or whatever so I'll just go hybrid here and as you can see everything loads up and, it, and if I want I can make everything 3D and see it all in a 3D scale and kind of zoom in and see the stuff from there so it's actually really cool and directions well what's with directions now is Siri gives you the directions aloud and um, it's like you get like the signs up here and the directions to tell you and it kind of navigates as a GPS so you won't need a GPS in the car anymore the next feature is going to be Passbook now this is a pretty cool feature but unfortunately has not been activated yet in iOS 6 Passbook is for the stuff in your pocket basically like boarding passes tickets gift cards and coupons this means that all that stuff that I've had crammed in my pocket I can now scan and store right on my iPhone so let's say I'm going to a McDonald's and I have a coupon for a McCafe ice latte or something well if I got a 25 percent off coupon I can save it right there and without taking it in my pocket I could bring my iPhone and McDonald's will be able to look it up and scan it right there and I won't ever have to have that coupon let's say I have a twenty five dollar gift card to GameStop I wanna go get a game well I could do it right off there I have a movie ticket to go see a new movie, let's say at that AMC. Well, store it right in there, and I'm flying on a plane to VidCon, I have my boarding pass right there. All stored in here, don't have to carry anything else, it's just all with your phone. I don't know if it'll be completely replacing the wallet, considering the fact that you don't have the credit card option, or, you know, a lot of people still do like using cash. But, um, this actually hasn't been released yet, as developers are still trying to develop working around this stuff. Um, but it should be pretty cool when it is actually released. Safari got a few minor updates I guess I'll hit you up with. The first one is probably going to have to be um, the landscape. Now when you're going to landscape you can actually see um, I can make my uh, experience full screen so all my tabs can go away and I could just look at everything full screen just like that. And then I could go back and so everything will just be full screen and then I turn back the um, oh I didn't mean to open Siri there 
and then uh, so on like that. And then Siri, now you can also do like iCloud tabs where you open a tab on one iOS device and they open up on the other. So they, uh, it goes all around. Pretty cool feature. And the last feature that of the top 10 iOS 6 new features is going to be Photo Stream. This isn't that big of a feature. Basically what you do is with your photos, you could sync them all up with all of your iOS devices. So you take a picture here, it appears there, and you could see it all come together in one place. And you could place it all in one place. Um, I don't really know if they're considering this a new uh, social service, like a networking service. But uh, it does all appear online in a special place. And you, your family, friends, relatives can all view them there. And the very last feature that I wanted to add in there that I forgot about was call rejection and reminder. So next time you want to reject a call, you can quickly send an SMS instead of just swiping across do not answer. Moreover, users can customize their messages. For instance, caught up with work, we'll call you soon. This isn't all. You can also set a reminder so that you don't forget to make that call right inside the phone app while you're getting the phone call which can be pretty useful, especially if you can't answer the call at that time. And guys, that's about it for my iOS 6 top 10 features. If you like this video, please be sure to comment below, of course, rate, and click the subscribe button up top. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.